Happy Friday, guys. So, uh, today's announcements. Uh, make sure you guys uh, get on that email list. Tonight we're doing that virtual chat. Um, I'll be up at 8 there. Again, I'm going to send that uh, link out five minutes before 8 so you guys can get yourself sorted out. Um, and then from there again, we're just going to go over questions uh, from that blog, talking about extra programming, about uh, any questions you guys have about uh, training there. We're going to go over that tonight. Um, second announcement, guys, Cubby item pickup. So um, if you have anything you want to pick up tonight or pick up from your uh, Cubbies, make sure you do that. Just email us, let us know, um, and you can come pick up your items there. Um, and then the third thing, guys, support your box. Um, event here make sure you get your pictures submitted to that google photos album so it's in every wad post you'll find it at the bottom there so make sure you're submitting uh your costume uh ideas there try to submit them by this weekend because uh we're getting up to that deadline before we start week three so try to push to get all your uh pictures in into that album by this uh weekend and finally guys make sure you're signing up we have week three coming up you can do all the workouts um, on week three if you haven't signed up already um, so you have until april 24th to do all the workouts um, and submit your workouts um, but don't forget to sign up for that we're at 56 so let's try and see if we can get that number a little bit higher maybe it's that 60 65 range there um, other than that guys we're going to get straight into the workout and just take a little picture of that okay guys so we have three rounds for time today this is time to get to work we are looking at a wide Three rounds for time. You're gonna try and stay as consistent as you can in your pacing through the workout. First movement is 20 burpees over your object. So that might be a barbell for you today. It might be a kettlebell or a dumbbell, whatever your odd object is, wherever you're gonna lift for those snatches, you're gonna go burpee over that object. You can decide whether you want to um, do facing burpees or if you want to do lateral kind of bunny hop burpees, that's your call, 20 reps. 20 alternating pistol squats, so that means 10 per side. Lots of options coming up for how to scale that when we get into the workout demo. And then 20 hang power snatches is your second movement. That's gonna be your movement if you have a barbell. Um, you're gonna do hang power snatches. We're looking for there, stimulus-wise, is something that you can sustain for five to 10 reps. So you're breaking that only up maybe two or three times. Um, prescribed weight we would have at 95 for the guys, 65 for the ladies. If you're working with a single arm object, um, whether that's a dumbbell or a kettlebell or an odd object of some kind, you're gonna go 15 and 15. So 15 left side and then 15 right side. Try to stay as consistent as you can throughout this workout. So we're not looking to get too overly breathless, kind of in that bent over, can't breathe position until you're getting to the very end of the workout. Elite here we would see like maybe four minutes around, Maybe uh, some of us are going to be more in the five plus minutes, but we're looking for that consistency piece. So try to get done in that 12 to 15 minute mark for the workout. All right, guys. So to end off the workout today, uh, going into the afterburners, so just do some stretches here. We're going to go 90 seconds of that frog stretch, uh, just stretching out the groin there, the hips. 90 seconds of that saddle uh, straddle stretch against the wall. So a similar stretch here, doing a little bit more strengthening. And then finally, we're going to end off with a seal stretch just to open up those hips from that workout today. So other than that, guys, uh, we'll see you in the warm-up next for the details. Okay, guys, for the warm-up today, we have four movements, starting with 90 seconds of burpees over your object. So today's object, we're just going to use a dumbbell here. So Coach Jess is just going to come all the way down into that burpee, all the way back up again, and then hop or step over your object. One common fault we see in the burpees, guys, is not going down all the way. So we want to make sure our chest is touching the ground at the bottom. And the other common fault is landing on the toes when you kick your feet in. So make sure we land on those heels. Next, after that, we're going for 60 seconds of Russian twists. So you can do this with or without a weight. And you can see Jess's heels are starting off on the ground for this one. So if you've never done these before, you can start with your heels on the ground. And then we're just going to twist from one side to the other. You really want to feel that trunk rotate as much as possible. We've got to warm up that full range of motion through that trunk. If you feel a little bit more confident with these, you can raise the heels off the ground. It's going to test your balance. It's going to be a little bit more challenging. And again, focusing on that full twist from left to right. 
Once you're done 60 seconds of the Russian twist, we're gonna bring it up to our feet for some lateral lunges. So we're gonna start off in a nice and wide stance here, and we're just gonna bend one knee and keep the other knee locked as you go down. So you come back up to the top, push your hips backwards, one knee bends, the other stays locked. If you wanna get a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can notice Jess brought that toe up in the air, she sunk a little bit deeper into that lunge. You're gonna feel a little bit more of a stretch that way. The biggest thing we don't want you here to do at home is go on your toes. So when you're going left to right, you don't wanna have your heel off the ground, you wanna keep that heel planted. Even if you don't get as much depth as Jess here, that's fine. Just go to whatever depth you feel comfortable with, Final tip on this one, the wider your feet are, the more depth you might get out of it. So play with it. Try a little bit narrower, a little bit wider. We're going for 30 of these, just nice and steady pace. You don't want to rush it, we're going for a stretch here. After that, we have 20 Russian kettlebell swings and then 20 overhead regular kettlebell swings. So for the swings here, guys, make sure that shin stays straight in the air. Jess is pushing that hip back and then squeezing that butt nice and quick to drive that dumbbell forward. And now she can show you a few overhead ones. So you can see that dumbbell is going all the way overhead here. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades when you get to that locked out position. So today's warm up, a lot of movement here, guys. Just do everything at a very mediocre pace. Keep it moving. We'll see you for the workout. Okay, let's get ready for this workout. Um, again, three uh, rounds. You're trying to aim for 12 to 15 minutes, so four minutes um, of, per round of a pace, up to five minutes for the pace, guys. You're gonna start off each round 20 with 20 burpees over an object. So you pick whether it's lateral or if it's uh, basic. So we ask you to show us two burpees, one lateral. So this is what your lateral movement would look like, jumping over the object. Or two, you can face your object wide, going down to the burpee, jumping in or lunging into it, then hopping forward, turning around, and repeating that. So it's up to you what you pick for your burpee progression, um, and of course your, your object. Now, we want to spend some more time here is on the pistol. Last week we had some pistols, um, we gave you guys some ideas for the pistols. We're going to start off here with progression number one, which is that reverse lunge. So stepping back, you want to control that knee, so we're going to get step forward again. As he goes back, he drops his chest slightly, but not a lot. He doesn't place his hands on his thighs either. So he's controlling that movement through that front supporting leg. For this progression, you want to make sure that the other thing is you don't want to let the knee wobble too much or come forward too much. So watch your knee position, watch your trunk position when you're lunging. We're going to get to do three or four here, alternating so you guys can see how the position stays the same, pay attention to this knee, nothing is wobbly, you can see how stable the movement looks. So that's progression number one. Progression number two is talking about having your toes either on the ground or having your toes pushed up to your heel. Now this progression really helps you stabilize your hips, so as the ash goes down, he can press into his heel as he's going up and down. Now, if you want to challenge yourself within that, maybe you don't push your foot into the floor or into your heel as you go down. And when you need it, that's when you close the movement. Okay, so you can actually turn over a little bit so you guys can see from the side. So notice the same thing with the knee on the previous progression. Don't let the knee go too far forward in front of the toes. Don't let it wobble. Okay. Try to break parallel for this progression. Now, progression number three is that actual pistol. So that single-legged squat. Everything applies. There's a slight forward lean. There's stability in the knee. Okay? So don't let the knee wobble too much. Try to break parallel. Okay? So you pick a progression that allows you to do the 20 pistols at a steady pace. So you should be able to do if you're alternating, you should be able to do 10 in a row, if not steady pace with all 20 repetitions, okay? Once you've done those pistols, then you're gonna go on to your hang power snap. So our object today is that dumbbell. You actually need to show it. You're gonna go for his single arm swing where he holds that dumbbell up, locks it up overhead, repeats it. You're gonna do a couple in a row. Here's 
supposed to do 15 in a row on one side before you do 15 on the other side. Okay, so make sure you pick the weight that you allow to do all 15 in a row on that one arm. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys to do one more overhead. Now, last thing I want to mention is in that overhead position, you're not arching your body. Get a nice straight line from the top of your object down to your heels, four tight legs locked out, shoulders locked out again on that snatch. If you have a barbell, everything applies the same, okay? Have fun with this workout and see those times be around 15 minutes or under. Okay guys, welcome for, to the Ackerburn. Hope you had a good workout there. Uh, we're starting off with some mobility here. So we're doing a frog stretch for 90 seconds. So in this frog stretch, we're just gonna get uh, onto the ground on our knees here. We're gonna spread the knees away from each other so you're feeling that stretch in the groin inside of that hip. And then we're just gonna lean forward onto our either palms of our hands or you can go a little bit deeper and go into the forearms for this one. Now what we're looking for here is you're gonna keep those back feet a little bit uh, flat on the sides if you can. And then also, so you can kick your toes out to the sides there. Yeah, perfect. And then also, uh, you might not be able to tell from that camera angle, but his shin is coming at a 90 degree angle. So you don't want your heels coming in towards each other. You want the heels actually away from each other for this stretch. And as you go, you might get a little bit deeper by getting your knees a little bit more and more away from each other. And also, you can sink your hips backwards. So uh, Yash is pushing his hips back away from your camera there. So um, that is the frog stretch for 90 seconds. It's a uh, definitely uncomfortable one. So uh, enjoy that one. After that, we're going for a, another groin opening stretch. Uh, so you're gonna hit the inside of those thighs, those adductors. So we're just gonna get your butt as close to that wall as you can, hopefully touching that wall. And then you're just gonna let your uh, legs open up as far as you can. And you're trying to get your heels as low to the ground as possible on this one. As you guys go, as the stretch gets a little bit more comfortable, we don't want to be comfortable when we're stretching, we want to be a little bit uncomfortable when we're stretching. So we actually want to try to see if we can drop those heels a little bit lower down. Sometimes you can kind of uh, inch your heels a little bit lower and lower on that wall. Um, other important note here, just keep your back nice and flat on the ground here, head and neck neutral, so a little bit of a chin tuck to make sure that spine is nice and lengthened. Once you have done that for 90 seconds, we're going to get back onto our bellies for a seal stretch. Uh, some people call this the cobra stretch, either way works. So you're going to keep your thighs on the ground, you're going to squeeze your butt, and you're going to try to fully extend your arms here. Um, try to also not shrug the shoulders here. So you want to pull those shoulders back and down like a lot of the other movements. You're going to feel this stretch in the hip flexors maybe, maybe in the low back um, and in the hips. Also notice Yash is just very subtly rocking from left to right. So he's just kind of twisting that upper body left to right a little bit, trying to feel the difference from side to side. You're going to hold that also for 90 seconds. 390 second stretches, enjoy.